car's rolling back on circuit. Oh honestly. my goodness. Oh my goodness. What this is not are good. you doing? That car Careful. needs to stop immediately. Oh my goodness. What this. has happened? Stop, 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 stop. But obviously it's got no control. Thank goodness everyone missed that. Wow. That turn one in towards turn two he's had drama and is that is that cordial complete with adac sponsorship around turn three he goes there's advertising if ever i saw it up the hill he's going to struggle to get around the rest of the lap the leaders continue on their way and gisla cordial very wisely decides to part company with the and doesn't that look absolutely epic wow. that ferrari oh, no, oh, that's no. going round. oh that's not epic at all für die CV Performance Crew beim Start, AMG Junior Team. Was äh, das bedeutet, wirst du uns gleich noch ein bisschen erklären. Auch, dass du schon GT4 Germany Erfahrung gesammelt hast. Also du bist kein ganz Novize mehr, wenn man es mal ganz ehrlich sagt. Achtung, da ist die Front aufgegangen beim Karting und Crossbow und wieder zu. Ja, durch den Anpressdruck hat es die wieder zugemacht. Die kann man einerseits... Dixon for a podium position. Marcus Armstrong here with a seven. Oh, oh no, this is the right rear. Big run to the line. Now oh. four wide across the line. This is looking at Kelly's got around. Go. Going round. That is Max Opalski who's got around. Being pushed in the side. As to be had five. And particularly his opportunity to come back to top level racing. Oh, Whoops. bad day when parts of your cars are doing different lap times. Yeah, and that hasn't been racing. fastened on. I can see yeah. that the center lug nut was missing down at turn seven as he accelerates away on the old part of the circuit that used to go all the way to the fence before it was closed down. Lucas Cruz is Carlos Sainz's co-driver and everything was fine until he started using Waze. Are you sure this is the best route, Lucas? Absolutely sure, yes. It says you should slide along a huge steep sand dune for 200 meters. But shouldn't we be turning left? Not yet, no. But Lucas, it's fine, Carlos. Trust me, there's a left turn coming up. Here. Now, Carlos, I told you, left. Straight on now. Sorry, Lucas. Well, that's a bit bizarre. It doesn't look like it's that I slippy. We need uh, Roy up. Norris Spinelli dummying. Ah, oh, yes, Brendan, nice work. Comes in late. I mean, Bondowell hits him. Bondowell goes into the back of him. There's going to be damage to the diffuser of Brendan Leach's car. All of the stress of the moment, trying to get the car fired up. Cohen's oh. already got damage there, and that is a nasty impact. Yeah, well, yes, you mentioned. Uh, confirm that one for you. Oh, bit of advertising boarding being picked up there from Ella Lloyd. Really advertising Motorsport U on the left-hand side. Use a little bit too much of the curb there on the right, and bang, straight into uh, into the advertising hoarding. Almost tried jumping straight. Has done something that I've never seen him do before. I just understood. Just didn't grip. Yeah. So he's, he's been on full log, and it and it. I know. I know that. And he swings well, we out of contact. That's why it's like that. Well, that was a bad release from the audio. Yeah. Whoever... Kind of like pirouettes with lands with wheels. How look? So watch, watch, watch. Up. Yeah. yeah. I think he might have got away with that. So do I. I think. I think from a, it's going to hurt, and there'll be bent bits on the car. Oh, you legend! <laughs> yes. And that immediately, you, know, you win. It. Pneu dianteiro direito na lona teve problemas ali. Difícil conduzir dessa forma. A equipe já vem para fazer. A substituição, olha o que trouxe de grama. O Donner, com esse problema do pneu, acabou fazendo uma patroladinha na grama por ali. And um, it's not as if you can really enforce a penalty for a future race. A wheeling Porsche there over. Not sure where that is in the rules. Look at him lighting up the tires as Kelvin van der Linden tries to beat Lucas Stoltz out of the pit lane. Uh, really getting his elbows out. Yeah, I think he'll be okay with that, and uh, as long as they both stuck to the pit lane speed limit. <laughs> because he gets past Stefan Rattel, and you're right, for him to tell you, oh my goodness, the wheels actually come off the car. 
goodness me, at turn one. Lamborghini in. Oh dear. Rivitelio. Happened. One pin has gone, air gets under it, bang, and around he goes. That could have been a whole lot worse, but that would have been a really frightening moment. I mean, there was about 20,000 cars trying to make the same corner at the same time. And uh, it's really hard to see who actually instigated uh, all of that, but definitely bits of carbon fibre flying everywhere while, uh, while they were traffic jam at the bus stop. <laughs> That's a familiar saying, isn't it? That's crazy. We were in the start replays when this was happening, and a dramatic sight as the headrest makes itself loose, and then eventually it's going to make its bid for freedom at the chicane. A liderança é do paranaense Rômulo Molinari. Olha lá o Rafa Teixeira. Olha lá o Rafa Teixeira. No aplauso irônico, isso é cara da NASCAR também, né? Foi lá pro meio da pista, inclusive. Great the job. Do so. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh, he's hit the barrier on the way to the pits. He's hit the barrier on the way to pit in. Gerard Shi has clearly tried to slow down to racing. We're looking, but there's such a big blind spot in that pillar. He's pulled away thinking he's clear. Then Simon Orange comes into shot, nowhere to go. That is a big, big impact. Mateo Núñez, La Verde. Se viene la última serie del sábado. Oh, la puerta, la puerta, la puerta de Tiago. La puerta de Tiago Martínez lo esquivaron. Ya lo vieron, ya lo vieron. Lo esquivaron todos increíblemente. Bueno. Lo que había dicho por... Chris Fleming's on the outside, though. Oh, and the 16's going to go around into the wall. Burt Myers. Burt Myers coming into Chris Fleming's car and... Uh... Wow. Big old thing. He took the whole bucket. I thought it was just a speedy drive, but he let the bucket go. Oh, what is that's, this about? That's a shambles. This is a that shambles. A... Absolute that... shambles. We could see it coming. Alpine could see it coming. Now, oh, actually, he almost clipped the team member as he came in. It was the uh, r left rear wing. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. All right. Caution, caution. Le está llegando a bajarse del coche, sí, el famoso chapulín de la Panamericana, rápido a quitarse de encima el vehículo porque vientos con la maniobra, se sale a tiempo el chapulín, deja que el clip, que el Chevy de Mauricio Iglesias llegue solo hacia la zona, al muro de la Moisés Solana. Not just winning the championship oh some interested spectators here track side the complete opposite now clip oh one of his own rear that. tires as he was leaving the pit box there'd be no damage it looks much more spectacular but just see they haven't removed that front and he's lost that left rear oh it's a fine time to leave him that loose wheel yeah it is <laughs> oh, that would have hurt him as he slapped over that that curve there there yeah, it is. Up. They're trying to push it further in because I think it was still. Bochel sends it in deep on the bottom into the side of Higgins. He crashes. Gavin Bochel through for the win as Higgins slams the wall. The opportunity to review, and you can see Higgins jumping out. He is not a happy camper as he is running down, and he is not happy. Ooh. And that is a bit of extra is aerodynamics. Uh, no, that's number 80, I think, isn't it? For uh, uh, Andy, Wheatley. Andy Wheatley. Yeah, yeah. further back. So a bit of extra rear downforce uh, on his car. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that rear spoiler's come out for him. <laughs> um, DRS. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, although possibly not assisting his chances <laughs> of overtaking on this occasion. So... image là, Franck Chagnon. Oh, ça a tapé pour en réduiser! Ça a tapé! Oh, et puis... Oh là 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 là! 40 bolages! En réduiser! Oh, ça prend feu! C'est Jérémy Hazard qui prend feu avec sort. Ouais, il va falloir vite sortir Jérémy des voitures. Jérémy Hazard, Patrick Tom, Bruno Norégrad. Attention, le sort Kerry rapidement. Gachnog. Ouais, et là, on euh... le sort très rapidement. I've no idea. Oh, he's got hit. Ah, oh, he's got to go. Got oh. Tebow. Right, now I understand it. It's Sergio Chefko Perez. wider than the car and uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that Joe gentleman doesn't know that he has no idea no. by the way that the other engineer was clapping <laughs> yeah, not a clue <laughs> The AO Porsche Rexy with a couple of chip teeth and a 
cast on the left hand door that's been signed into the pit lane to lose one of the sponsor banners. Leading the class. Yeah. yeah. And he's shuffled all, all the way back now to what, fourth or fifth place in LMP2. Turn six, by the way, was uh, exit of turn five into turn six was where. Car number 50 appears to have slowed. Is he toying with the opposition or is there a problem? This is our race lead. This was a car that's about to win the Japan Cup Championship. It's not going to get many more grid markers up before it comes to a halt. Looking in the background, sweeping in to take victory uh, for Toyota. That's extraordinary. I thought that was just a bit of drama. He's pushing, but that car is hardly moving. Oh, how cruel is that? At Frickadilly have incredible pace in that number 30 Ferrari. So it's going to be a long night and uh, some nervy teams waiting to get us through to daylight as well as the temperature changes but no problem for the fans who are getting the getting the moves going around the fire <laughs> they're enjoying themselves yeah there's something about this place it almost has but again no. traction is contact and then walking walking literally oh. cannot see because the the front kind of cowling has come <laughs> up across him and there's the halo and then there's that and that's not going to pass very much is it but i shouldn't really choke oh. he's trying to push the cowling out of the way and, and he's actually <laughs> not going to drive the rest of the race looking out the side of it. Either. That's extraordinary. I have never seen that happen before, I've Scott. I've never seen that either. That's what and this is the moment where the camera is in the middle, Bollard. And, well, he took both of them out for good measure. Uh, there's the remnants of our camera hanging out to the Bollard and uh, wraps around the rest of the car. Tire get loose down here. Oh, oh, right in front of Brad. Brad's tire. His own tire. And around pit wall and into the garage it went. You see it hit, Mark. bounce off the other tire right in front of him. Will that be a penalty? Larry? To me, that's an uncontrolled tire. I know it's a very yeah. unusual. Had a day of pit road issues. There's the adjustment on Blaney's car. Oops, he is leaving. And the crew is 0 for 2. So we'll have a look at this. Oh. I'm not sure that there's a rule that covers that, but uh, I held my breath because I was worried about the people that were standing there. So uh, LeBrock had to drive it through. Kyle Kirkwood, I believe. Watch Kirkwood comes around. I think Kirkwood stops. No, in he time. stopped. I think. Uh, no, no, his Kirk Kirkwood's coming. Watch. Wait, wait, wait. Watch to the bottom. Yeah, he just comes to a stop. I think Callum Island just lost it on his own <laughs> on the power. We saw, I think it was Rossi earlier. Look at the thumbs yeah, up from yeah. Kirkwood. Not too thrilled about this. Hey, what are you doing there, Callum? Bad to worse for Kirkwood. Wrong side. Was it not? No, it's on the right hand side. That's fine. Meantime, the TDS, the remaining TDS car, has uh, decided to change the aerodynamic profile on the front of uh, the car. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver. Ah!